happy Tuesday, friends. We are officially eight days away from Christmas. Can you believe it? Oh, How many days? Gee, eight days. And I just had to ask Jerry, my producer, that's who you hear talking on the microphone, what day it was. Because here I am thinking it's Wednesday. I think yesterday no. on the midday, I told you guys we were 10 days away from Christmas when really we were nine. So my whole week has been all jumbled up. So if you're with me, then I feel ya pain. Okay, well coming up on the midday, we are showing you how to score free holiday shipping. There's an all out push underway right now to get your packages to the door in time for the Christmas holiday. So I've got a hack that will score you fast and free shipping. Dum dum dum. Okay, also we're gonna take you inside Alamo Tamales to show you how they create those famous tamales. And guess what guys, I've actually done it with them. Oh, really? I'm sorta of kind of a pro. And now playing at the Alley Theater, fully committed. And we have actor Dylan Godwin here with us today. So we're gonna be talking to him all about that play coming up. Oh, Jerry, how are you doing? I just want to take fine. a second. You look very warm and cozy. Really dapper. Thank you. Thanks for the compliment. You're very yeah, welcome. I'm just I didn't to keep say up dapper, with you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I totally mean it. I totally mean what it. Did you say? Look very dapper. You were putting words. You were putting words into my mouth. Oh, okay. <laughs> Because Mike's telling me other things in my ear. And oh, you're telling me our, our he's director fun of me. back there. Okay, no, no, no. no. I'm, positive <laughs> I'm not going to tell here. you what he said. All right, to the digital deal. Digital deal of the day today. Check out the smokeless grill. How cool is this? So, guys, originally $118. Today, you can get it for just 70 bucks. You can get the deal on our ABC 13 mobile app. If not, if it's kind of hard to find, because I know sometimes you guys call me and tell me, I, I, I got to have this deal. I just can't find it on the website. I also have it shared on my social media pages for you guys. That's Chelsea ABC 13. Okay, so yesterday, it was kind of a whirlwind of things happening with UPS. All of a sudden, there was um, posts, uh, papers posted up on their window saying that they were unable to send your packages. It was this whole big ordeal. So now, apparently, Amazon is temporarily blocking those third-party sellers from using FedEx to ship to prime time customers. Okay, so Amazon cited a drop in the delivery prime performance. Prime customers, I'm sorry, yes. I put time in there. It's prime, I'm sorry. Prime, prime, prime. prime. And I was reading this and I was thinking, <laughs> wait, prime time? It's just yeah. prime. Prime, Amazon prime I'm customers. Sorry. Okay. Go <laughs> all good. All good. Okay. So Amazon cited a drop in the delivery performance and will uphold the ban until it sees improvement. So basically, this is just saying that they are not using FedEx at all. But FedEx is admitting it ran into some problems due to all of the weather, yeah, but it's claims snow. its networks are flexing as designed to handle the surge of packages. So, so this is all going down between Amazon and FedEx. Yesterday, I think the problem was with. With UPS and Amazon, their QR codes. So a lot of stuff happening. Hopefully you guys have not been procrastinating, but if you have, don't you worry because we got you covered here on the midday. Here's how you can ensure that your packages will arrive on time. So first you need to know these deadlines, okay? So write this down. Walmart, Target, and Best Buy orders must be placed by as early as this Friday. Macy's by noon on Saturday and Amazon and Nordstrom's by Sunday, no later. And okay, I mean, we're all sort of procrastinators, right? So there's also apps like Shipped, which offers a free two week trial for new members, enough time to score free same day delivery through December 24th. Huh, I know a lot of you guys are like, yay. And then Gift Now also lets you deliver a gift via email and text. But here's the cool thing about this the recipient can customize or exchange that gift before it actually gets sent. Hmm. So I kind of like that twist. Okay, so. All, all of this shopping, holidays, picking out the right presents, getting everything shipped, all of this costs a whole lot of money, money. right? Okay, you may be experiencing some buyer's remorse. I know I kind of went through this after Black Friday. Okay, <laughs> so if I'm being completely honest, well, we spoke with Northwestern Mutual to, uh, for these tips on how to bounce back from all of this holiday spending. So first up, adjust your spending habits and come up with a robust budget. This means look at where you overspent for the holidays and where you can cut back come January to help you recover. Next up, plan ahead, you guys. If you know you're going to spend roughly the same amount for Christmas next year, start saving right now. I know it sounds crazy, but with this 
as little as $25 per paycheck if you get paid bi-weekly, then you're specifically saving $600 come Christmas time for 2020. That's a pretty good budget, right? And then just put yourself on autopilot. Set up a savings account where you get paid or as you get paid it automatically gets put into that savings account so you never even see it and then you want to also adjust your behaviors and bank on them that's uh, those credit cards that you can sign up for that actually give you those reward points or cash back if you know you're going to be swiping that card mm -hmm. get the cash back and you know use that cash back to pay off your balance and finally the last tip that we have from northwestern is that social media block those social media yes. ads. <laughs> I know, man, I'm sitting there scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and they have all those algorithms set up to where once you start shopping for something, they know what you want and then those ads start popping up and you're like, ooh, oh, let me click that. Don't do it. I looked at one sweater last month in November and they're still bombarding me with an ad for that one sweater. I don't want it, Brooks Brothers. So Leave me alone. block them, block them. Okay, next up, oh, Christmas is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite holidays. Um, not only because Jesus is the reason for the season, but because of all of the delicious food. And uh, if you're a Latina, Hispanics, we kind of ditch the turkey and ham and we go for the tamales. tamales. Tamales all the way. And if you've never been to the original Alamo Tamales in North Houston, then you are totally missing out. They have been there since 1962. And they're taking us inside the kitchen and they're showing us why this Christmas tradition and their homemade tamales go hand in hand. Here at Alamo Tamales, we have your traditional pork. And we also have the strawberry with raisins, your dessert tamale, and the cheese and jalapeno tamales. It's full of jalapeno and cheese for the ones that like the spicy stuff. This one is our turkey tamale. It comes out for Thanksgiving, and we have it through Christmas. If you've never had a tamale before, quick advice, do not eat the corn husk. Make sure you unwrap it. Feliz Navidad! love that last year I was in the know, kitchen right? helping them spread those <laughs> that masa and making the tamales and oh my mouth is watering for more on this story you can head to abc13.com slash localish all right we're gonna send it over to Miss Samika Knight joining Hi. us on the midday what's up girl hey so now starring in the alley theater <laughs> yeah no <laughs> join me listen we have something really cool to talk about uh, we're talking about uh, a one-man show fully committed joining me now Dylan Godwin boy you I tell you what you are fully committed to this show Absolutely. 40 different characters? Yeah, 40 in the span of about an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah, tell us about the show. I mean, it's incredible. I've seen, I had like a little bit of a sneak peek. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. You're great. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I, you know, I'm trying. <laughs> um, it's a show that takes place in the basement of a restaurant, like a famous restaurant in New York. And uh, he's a booker, a restaurant booker. And everyone's calling to try to get reservations. <laughs> and you can imagine the kind of nut jobs that are calling at a restaurant <laughs> around Christmas in New York he to said get that reservations. I didn't. Okay. You know what I mean. Yeah. I mean, well, well, well. Uh, but uh, <laughs> sort of, I play every person that calls. So from you know a big wig socialite <laughs> to like Gwyneth Paltrow's assistant, oh, you know, oh. uh, the whole spectrum of. <laughs> Not jobs. And by the way, there there's a lot going on behind the scenes. So it's a yes. one man show, but I mean behind the scenes, it's pretty complicated. Yeah, we're so lucky at the alley to have one of the most incredible teams, production teams. We have stage managers, production assistant, um, sound ops, light ops. So for every like one second you see on stage, there's 30 seconds of work going on behind it. You know, <laughs> so like the stage manager's calling cues, lights are going off, oh phones gosh. are going off. There is a lot of work that goes into just an hour and 15 minutes of show. Speaking of phones going off, curtain up. Bring. Uh, reservations, how can I help you? <laughs> Damn, darling, it's Bunny of Van de Vere. <laughs> oh, <I laughs> wait, 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 he's gonna do one more. Bring. Hi, it's Bryce calling from Gwyneth Paltrow's office. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan, yes. Go Dylan Godwin. Oh my gosh, this is great. He plays Sam, his character there. But by the way, I want to make sure this is playing right now, fully committed, playing right now at the alley. It runs through December 29th. So, I mean, yes. you have a lot of families yeah. uh, getting together for the holidays. And you said it on it's only an hour and 15 minutes? Hour and 15 minutes, so yeah. It's, I mean, you can be fully committed for an hour and 15 minutes. God willing. <laughs> Dylan, you're amazing. Hey, I'm sending it back to you, Jesse. Oh, I cannot wait to go watch Fully Committed right there with Dylan Godwin. 
He is incredible, absolutely talented. I was going to ask him if he still hears those phones ringing when he goes home. Right? Probably. We hear him here. We do all the time. All right, guys, so if you missed it, Jimmy Kimmel celebrated the upcoming Star Wars movie last night. The After Darth Star Wars special featured everything Star Wars, including Yoda, droids, and some stormtroopers, of course. He also gave the smallest fans a chance to ask the stars questions about their favorite movie. How old is Finn? Does he like being a stone trooper or a bad guy? What's his favorite color? How old is he? Does he wear glasses? Hey, Ray, can you really do a backflip? Or are you just a liar? <laughs> um, 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 I'm a liar. Do droids eat or go to the bathroom? Or do they just pee in their pants? Um, <laughs> uh, their pants. How old is he? Does he wear glasses or not? How old is he in real life? Does he like shopping? Does he go to Gucci, Nordstrom's, or Macy's? Or does he just go to normal stores and buy food? Or does he go to other places? <laughs> is BB a boy or a girl? Oh my god. Um, I don't know if we ever found out if BB-8 was a boy or a girl. Definitely a boy. How old is Chewbacca? And um, how, how tall is he? And how much does he weigh? And this this question is for Poe. Are you going to be like a big character in this movie or are you going to be like a tiny character? <laughs> <laughs> are you just going to be like a character like you always are or are you actually going to do something meaningful this time? I appreciate you saying that and asking that question. We all say it, but it's nice of you to finally verbalize That's exactly what I asked JJ as well. <laughs> and that's why they've created your character. And to me. Does he eat a lot of calories, or does he stay fit and run, or jog, or do Peloton? I don't really watch Star Wars anymore, because I'm kind of too old, but I'll watch it. Gee, thanks. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness, I absolutely love that. Count on Jimmy Kimmel to always give you a good belly laugh. All right, well, our Houston Rockets were all in the uh, Star Wars spirit last night at the game against the San Antonio Spurs. I posted this picture over on my Instagram page, Chelsea ABC 13. Look, we have Westbrook, Harden, and... I think that's Capella. I don't know. I think that's Capella, but we can't it's, see that little... Face. The, the blonde <laughs> spot in his, in his hair. So we cannot confirm that. But, yes, so the rise of Skywalker comes out on Thursday night. You guys, let me know if you're going to go see it. And we'll see you tomorrow on The Midday.